Okay, how's it going guys? Um, I'm going to make a quick tutorial on how to make collisions for track objects in MX Simulator. So basically I have my object here, it's a podium, it's actually a podium I made for Byron, uh, which he put on the Loretta Lynn's uh, track from a while back. Um, so pretty much the way um, I'm going to be doing this is I'm going to be using the shape file generator which um, places spheres at each vertice and you ride on those spheres they are the collision um, so basically what you want is you want a surface for the collisions so right here you have um, one surface, two surface, another one on the side, obviously it's a box, there's four surfaces, you only need the top surface. So what I went ahead and did is I duplicated the object and I deleted the extra surfaces. So I deleted the bottom and the sides, I also deleted these two poles, uh, the reason I deleted the poles is because this handrail will have collisions and you can't go through the handrail to touch these poles so the poles don't need collision. Um, same goes for the skirt down the bottom. Um, you can't ride through this uh, platform so you're not going to be able to touch the skirt unless of course you somehow manage to slide your bike under there but good luck. I'm There's no way you're going to fit your bike under there but um, so anyway, here it is. As you can see, everything is just a plane. There isn't used planes, like I said before. Um, you only need one surface. So, um, yeah, each sphere is placed at a vertex. And as you can see, there's not many vertexes. So if you place a sphere here, um, you'd be able to ride on this one vertex, but the rest of it you wouldn't have collisions for. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to subdivide the surface. So we're going to go edges, subdivide. The more you subdivide a surface, the smoother it's going to be to ride on. Um, this is important for things you actually ride on, not so much important for, say, the back here, because you're not going to be riding on it. Um, I'm going to subdivide this even more so that it is nice and smooth. Uh, keep in mind, if you subdivide too many times, um, and you have too many spheres, there's a very good chance your game will lag. So, like I said, just keep that in mind. I'm going to subdivide this handrail as well. Um, something some people like to do is to remove doubles, but as far as I'm concerned, if you do it properly the first time, you won't have doubles to remove. Well, you will, but it won't really be that necessary to remove them. Um, what removing doubles does is say, I have this vertice here, or remove any vertices within a set area. Um, I guess you could use that to an extent, but evidently it's going to affect the, the rideability of your surface. So I don't tend to remove doubles at all, or much, for that matter. Uh, it's really up to you, like, have a play with it, get a feel for everything. If you think you need to, then go ahead and remove some doubles here and there. should be good enough. Um, the next thing we're going to do is, um, as I was saying, you have a sphere on each vertice. If, say, for me I'm going to be using a radius of 0.5 for my sphere, um, so if we were to place a sphere here with a radius of 0.5, it would extend 0.5 feet above the surface, which means when your bike rode across the, rides across the surface, your bike will be 0.5 feet above the surface itself. 
so it's going to make it look like your bike's floating so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to grab both these and we're going to move them down by 0.5 if you're using say a radius of 1 you'd move it down by 1 foot but I'm using 0.5 uh, now you're going to go ahead and export it as a JM uh, we're going to call it Podium don't call it the same as your model uh, apparently that causes issues uh, the next thing go away the next thing we're going to do is open up our shapefile generator which is this thing here uh, we're going to go browse find our JM we just made Podium um, one thing you're going to need to keep in mind is the shapefile generator uses a script and the script is not fully functional um, I'll show you that in just a second my friction is going to be 2, spring is going to be 1000 you really need to figure out what these settings kind of do so obviously your sphere radius is the radius of the sphere so the bigger the sphere the further away from the actual object the collisions kind of going to be. Uh, you shouldn't have really small sphere radiuses. In theory it'll make the um, collisions a lot more nicer and realistic but you do run the risk of having uh, game issues so try not to. Uh, anyway create the shapefile. Oh look at that my euros are fucked up. So here we go, podium.shape. Um, we're going to need to go and edit it with Notepad. This is the issue with the script I was talking about. Um, MX Simulator, whenever it opens um, a file, a file it um, reads through the lines. Um, so you need to write at the very top uh, how many lines it needs to read through. So if we scroll to the bottom, you'll find a number 855, uh, scroll to the top, we need to put 855 in. If you don't put a number here, the game's going to try and read an infinite number of lines, and it's going to lag out and crash. So you need to tell it how many lines it needs to read. If I was to say, put 20 in here, it would only read to line 20, or 19, not including the first line. So it would read to line 19, meaning that anything underneath that would not actually count into the game but anyway so we're going to save that and now we are going to I'm going to pop this in game to show you um, I'm just going to show what it looks like I guess as you remember I put it down I moved um, the collisions down by half a foot to compensate for the radius of my sphere um, in game I'll show exactly what I mean um, hopefully Hopefully the bike isn't floating. I'm pretty confident it won't be. So we go ahead, open up our game. This is my shitty track I've been working on. Um, I have my terrain shaders and detail and everything turned down, so it looks pretty horrible. It's nothing fancy, it's just my first track. Um, I use it a lot for testing out objects just because it's, you know, I don't know. It's just a track I use to test objects. Oh, oh great. Um, it's wonderful. It's just, just, just fucking lovely. Try that again, try that again. Okay, so we're away. These are my doors. I was trying to make the doors so they would automatically open and close using lots didn't work out the way I planned. I couldn't actually get lots to work. Anyway, so in theory this now has collisions, this podium. So when I ride on it, I should go up. Very nice. Um, 
as you could kind of hear, it's a little bit bumpy, which means I could have subdivided it a smidgen more, or possibly used a bigger sphere radius. Um, yeah, so actually I'm going to go back into demo mode, I'm going to show you that the bike sits on the surface nicely. This is a stadium I'm working on for Tony Rubio X Games. Bit of a spoiler. Um, anyway, so as you can see, the tire sits nicely on the top of the podium because I moved the surface down 0.5 feet to you know, compensate for the radius of my collisions. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all you need to know uh, for making collisions for Remake Simulator. It is pretty easy. Nothing too difficult about it. Um, if you have any questions, just ask. I'll put the stuff you need. Uh, for the, I'll put the shape file generator link in the description for the video. Um, I'll probably put it in the post for this uh, tutorial as well. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. Hope you guys, uh, learned something. Let's see ya.